If you've ever attempted the trials for wax before, you might have been intimidated by just how long it takes to complete even one of the trials. They can be confusing, difficult, or absolutely time consuming. Well, I'm here to teach you all the ways you can avoid the trouble but obtain all the wax as fast as you can completely solo. I've managed to compile all the best skips from my experience running the prophecy trials solo, and I'm going to break down everything I've learned so each trial can be done in 5 minutes or less. But first, a couple disclaimers. My platform is the PC, which has some benefits over other platforms, one of them being FPS. The max frame rate on PC is 120, and some tricks may or may not be harder depending on your frame rate. This is because the higher your frame rate, the more maneuverable and responsive your Sky Kid becomes. I recommend using the highest frame rate available to you, but any frame rate can work fine. It's also a good idea to take off your chibi mask before you start any of the trials. Many of the jumps in Earth, Wind, and Fire become a lot easier when your Sky Kid is tall enough to actually reach the ledges. Also, Water Trial is chibi hell, so don't say I didn't warn you. We're going to go through each of the trials from easiest and quickest to complete to the hardest and slowest to finish, starting with... This is an easy trial I can recommend to beginners because of its low complexity. And it's a trial anyone can learn with good benefits. You're rewarded with at least two candle cakes if you finish the trial, and it's the fastest one you can complete by far. You could even finish it faster than I can complete this scent. All right, now you're just showing off. Start by climbing up these steps, the cubes. I don't even know what these things are supposed to be. Once you're up, do not light this switch just yet. Approach the ledge slowly until your Sky Kid stops. Keep holding the analog stick forward, then jump while moving your analog stick towards this ledge. Now jump across this gap. You might notice an invisible wall blocking the way. This is what I can only figure is TGC's attempt at trying to stop players from skipping the trial. Anyway, we're gonna skip it. The most simple method I can recommend for anyone new to skipping this trial is to use this setup. Get close to this ledge like before. Now hold your controller's right bumper and analog stick forward to enter step mode. Then, all you have to do is spam jump to the opposite wall. Now you can just walk across this wall and you're at the final stretch. Unless the switch was activated because that wall wouldn't be there. In that case, come to this ledge and do the same trick again. The final jump is the same trick the whole way through, and once you're across, you're free to get your reward. But let's say you're unlucky and you miss this last jump. It's important that you know this too, because this area is what I like to call the ditch. This spot is like a spider's web, catching unsuspecting trial moths just before the finish line. Once you're here, you'll activate a checkpoint that keeps you trapped. If you try and hop off to restart, it'll send you back. If you try to return home and go back to the trial, you'll be sent back again. You might think the only option here is to continue the trial normally, but we're not normal and I've gotten stuck here enough times to know a way out. Just to the side of this open wall is a path right back to the start of the trial, but there's two things blocking you, this wall and an invisible barrier. We'll need to hop off the ledge so we're spawned back in the right position. Now adjust yourself so you're facing the ledge. In quick succession, jump towards the ledge, then spam the ever-loving god out of your jump button and strafe around the invisible wall, then towards the ledge. Congrats! You're free from the ditch. And just like that, you finish the Earth Trial. You can collect your wax and and, and you you beat you beat the game. You 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 beat unless you ended up like this guy because uh there's no getting out. I mean, you can return home and re-enter the trial, but my bag of tricks is empty. You're just stuck. Who, who, who turned off all the lights?
Yeah, surprisingly, this trial shortcut makes the fire trial really easy. Ridiculously easy. You can turn what is one of the hardest and longest trials to complete into one of the fastest and most profitable. You can get four candle cakes completing this trial and finish it without even having to deal with the these guys. Seriously, what is with the trials on having weird shit? Also, I know this is primarily a solo guide, but just so you and I can both be able to see what I'm demonstrating, I'll bring along a friend. His name is Teeth. You can go through the trial normally up until the second checkpoint. Instead of continuing forward, take a right here and start scaling this geometry. This part is pretty difficult solo. Without a light source, you'll burn out very quickly, but you have just enough to scale this wall. Once you're on top, your Sky Kid will stop burning out. This next part is a little luck based. Start by gaining some speed. Jump onto this part of the geometry, then keep spamming jump towards this ledge. If your position is right and you're moving fast enough, you'll magnetize the ledge. Sometimes you'll fall downwards or miss the jump, but you'll get up after enough tries. Now start scaling both of these walls. They're a little finicky, but the best advice I can give is to keep wiggling your analog stick while you spam jump. Eventually, you'll climb both walls. Next, hop down onto this wall. It might be a little hard to see, so take out your candle to spot it. And don't hop down onto this one. The right one is just further down here. They're easy to mix up, so just be wary. You can keep following the wall until the path stops right about here. Drop down onto the left like so and follow the steps into the door. You've managed to skip all the way to the final level of the fire trial. Oh, and it doesn't stop there. Position yourself like this in front of this checkpoint. When you're in the right position, push your analog stick forward and your Sky Kid will hop onto the checkpoint on their own. This is your cue to start spamming jump. And if you're lucky, you'll end up on this lip. Keep spamming jump until you gain enough momentum to clear this wall. Go left, jump across this gap, go up these stairs, and just like that, you've managed to successfully skip one of the hardest trials in less than a couple minutes. Give yourself a pat on the back, because there's plenty more where that came from. Whoever decided to make the water trial the first has too much faith in the Sky community. I'm gonna outright say this, out of the four trials you can learn and attempt, the water trial is by far the least interesting. There's really not many skips you can learn or attempt solo, and the reward is sorely lacking. The earth trial offers the same amount of candles with a fraction of the effort. Safe to say I do not recommend running the water trial for wax, whether you're just stuck and need help or you're learning it to help other other people, if you truly insist on learning this trial, I'll help you out. Once you're dropped in this trial, there's not too many tricks we can pull off, but there are a couple time-saving measures we can take. The first checkpoint? Yeah, we can just skip straight over to the second checkpoint where we can wait for the tide to come down again. As soon as the tide is low enough to where you can touch the ground, you can activate the next checkpoint and book it straight up this slope without waiting. That's really about it for the time savers here. Follow this path. And once you make it up this crescent shaped piece of land, we can grab this candle cake or we can continue the trial. If you want to get this candle cake, you need to use the ice on the side of the hill. Jump once on the ice. Now jump again at the very edge and send it straight across. If you have the momentum and the tide is right, you'll sail right into the candle cakes. And now for the biggest time save of the trial. In case we mess up on this part, we can activate a checkpoint by walking to the very end of this crescent. Make your way to where this rock protrudes in the ground. This is where we'll get started. If you look across, you'll see these two slopes right next to each other. One of the more difficult skips in this guide is right here, so take your time and pay close attention. 
When the tide is coming down from its peak, this is your cue to start booking it toward these slopes. Use the ice on the ground to increase your momentum. The breathing room on this trick is very small, so make every second count. Once you make it to this first slope, stop for a brief moment and hop towards the other slope. This is to ensure we don't just jump off the side. You're now completely in the clear. Doing this skips most of the parkour that we have to do throughout the water trial. Now all that's left is to get through the end of the trial, which you can do normally. Congrats! You just finished the water trial. Enjoy your reward of two candle cakes. Yeah, like I said before, for the amount of effort required to finish this, you could have just done either earth or fire, but we're not done just yet because I have one more thing I want to show you. I'm gonna show you a secret technique, one that would even make the developers at that game company quiver in their small indie game studio boots. Reach this point of the trial, head to aviary. Now we're going to use an item so forgotten, so underutilized, and so broken, you'll wish it was never patched. Grab your snowboard, equip it, then slide into any interior inside of aviary. You're gonna notice you're suddenly floating. That means it worked. Back out, sit down here, get back into the trial, and you should still be floating. Take the same shortcut as before, and instead of going left, take a right and hop onto this floating platform. Once you reach this point, make a beeline towards this rock and get on top of it. You are now Jesus. You can take this alternate shortcut straight to the end of the trial, much more easily compared to the earlier shortcut. Keep in mind, this only works if you manage to get a snowboard during last year's Days of Feast event. So, yeah, this segment was pretty useless. Well, at the very least, the trial wasn't so difficult. I mean, it can't possibly get worse. Right? It is said that those who come here, brave, fearless sky kids, come out of this trial changed, broken, and if you listen closely, you can still hear the wails and cries of everyone who's attempted the climb and been claimed by its windiness. Depending on who you are, this is either the easiest trial ever or the worst one ever created. And the people I'm talking about are the people with friends. Yeah, this is the easiest trial with friends. Thankfully, I'm here to teach you how to beat this trial completely solo, so you don't have to make any friends. But before we can get going on this trial, I need to show a tech that will serve as the basis of each skip throughout the entire trial. One that will only prove to become even more useful as the trial goes on. The technique I'll be showing you is how to fly. By quickly spamming the fly mode button, you can stall your air momentum for a long period of time compared to either flying mode. With this, you can make jumps that would normally seem impossible and allow you to course correct as you vibrate ominously throughout the air. It looks silly, it feels impractical, but it works. Now we can get going with the trial. Start by doing the trial normally. The first couple minutes of this trial aren't the most flexible compared to the other trials, but once we make it up here, we can try our first trick. This isn't a necessary one to learn, but it's a good one to understand if you want to prioritize speed. Light this candle. 
This will activate the air current underneath. Now strafe towards this platform and start spamming your fly mode. This really saves only a couple seconds than just doing it normally, but it's real neat and flashy. Head up this air current. This trick skips having to wait for the platforms to slowly, very slowly cross this gap. Get close to the ledge on this spot. If you look to the left, there should be an air current going straight towards the next platform. With this in mind, jump towards the platform while also entering the air current. Using the current, we can spam jump and strafe towards the platform. You can activate the checkpoint here and now we can head up to one of the best skips in this trial. I highly recommend learning or at least attempting this trick once in a while. Because this skips a very large majority of the trial. All that waiting on platforms, using wind currents and missing all of your jumps. You can avoid having to do all of this and save yourself a lot of time. Once you're on this platform, walk slowly towards the ledge until you stand in place. The reason we're doing this is the same for why we did this back in the Earth trial. You might fall on accident, so keep trying until you're in the right position. Now that we're here, notice this air current that's trailing upwards. We're going to use this air current to fly. Point your analog stick towards the air current. Hop off, then as soon as you can, switch your flight mode to the open wing position. You'll end up flying and with some course correction, land here. You save a lot of time with this trick, so it's a very valuable one to practice. Things get a lot simpler from here. You can wait on this platform normally or use the spam trick to skip this platform and then do the same thing for this platform right here. Again, not necessary, but it's very helpful if you want to prioritize speed. This is the last bit of the trial that we have to complete before we can redeem a reward. And there's two skips we can use to tackle this. The smooth and easy way, or the cool way. Starting with smooth and easy, follow these air current things until you end up on the last one. Go ahead and light every single candle but one. When the platform reaches the lowest it can go, light the final candle and strafe towards the last platform. If you miss it the first time, you can easily retry every time the platform is as low as it can go. For the cool and awesome way, we're starting on the first platform and lighting every candle leaving this one. When you're ready, light it and then fly towards this air current. As soon as you're able to, switch your flight mode to the open wing position as soon as you can and don't touch your analog stick. You'll gain a lot of height, enough to make it all the way onto the last platform. If you miss it the first time though, it's a lot harder as it becomes much more inconsistent. The best advice I can give is to keep attempting this trick until it lets you upwards. If you're in a situation where you can pull off this trick and you only need a tiny bit of momentum to reach, all you have to do is change back to gliding mode right as you lose momentum. And that's it! Collect your final four candle cakes, meditate, and exit the trial. You've managed to finish all the trials in record time. All in all, by completing every trial, you can earn 12 candle cakes, netting you about 600 pieces of light in just a couple minutes. Even excluding the water trial, this is just enough to net you 5 candles at 3 chevrons. The amount of wax is much more compared to what Polluted Geyser offers, and roughly the same as Grandma, who currently as of posting this is completely broken. Once you get used to every trick within this guide, you'll easily be able to clear each trial in less than 5 minutes, and once you master them, the door to experimentation is wide open. There are so many more tricks you can pull off, some that you can even do with friends to complete the trials even faster. It would take an even bigger video than this to cover them all. But nonetheless, since we finished all the trials, that's enough yapping for me. If this guide has helped you in any way, like this video and feel free to share it with other fellow Sky Kids. Big thanks to Teeth for helping me demonstrate the fire and air skips, and to these fellow trial runners. I wouldn't have known about half these skips if I had never seen their videos on them, so they have been a massive help. I've always been annoyed there hasn't been one single concise guide, so I hope now that this is here, people will finally be encouraged to run one of the best areas for wax in all of Sky. Anyway, bye!